Happy Friday, everyone. Um, I am a little late today because things have taken a terrible turn uh, with my mom. Um, I had a few minutes um, to get on before I'm gonna have to go to another hospital. She's on her way there. I'm just waiting to hear when they have her. Um, but just wanted to do a quick update. Um, so this probably won't be my usual five. <laughs> But anyways, um, things started to fall apart last week. I actually got sick um, last um, last weekend, and so I've been dealing with that. I'm sure you can hear how bad I sound. Um, but anyways, um, on top of that, things with mom started to go bad last Friday afternoon. Um, my home health nurse had heard some fluid in her lungs because I thought I had heard her coughing the day before and had asked for um, her uh, Lasix to be upped. She has congestive heart failure as well. Um, but anyways, um, this all could have been avoided if her provider had gone over there like they were supposed to, and or actually not even just gone over there, but just upped the Lasix, but they didn't. And basically all weekend, we ended up with one problem after another. They couldn't get any providers to go out. Um, we ended up finally getting a telehealth visit on Sunday, um, and the provider there agreed to up her Lasix, and I was also asking for an up in her pain medicine because of the fall. She was in pain in her back, um, and that was taking days to get done as well, um, and she ended up falling again on Sunday. Um, thankfully, she wasn't hurt too bad, but that was two falls in a week. Um, they did get somebody out there on Monday, and thankfully that person um, ended up running blood work. Um, I had actually asked for blood work to be ran weeks ago. We got another new provider. She actually wasn't new, but she was one that we've had before that I have um, asked to be removed from her case before, and I got her back again, and I was not happy about it. Um, but anyways, I had asked her when her last blood work was done a few weeks ago and she did not know. Um, my mother is on a lot of medications and her blood work needs to be done way more frequently than it has been and found out it only had been done, last time it had been done was six months ago. So anyways, um, long story short, or whatever that is, <laughs> um, so anyways, this provider that came out Monday ran blood, thankfully he did. Um, I got a phone call Tuesday afternoon saying that she was in kidney failure. Um, I, I don't even know what to say at this point. Um, if her labs had been done more frequently, which they should have been, none of this should have happened. Um, they tried to convince me to send her to the hospital Friday night, or time's not Friday, Tuesday night. Um, and I, that was the last thing we wanted to do. We were trying everything we could to keep that from happening, but I finally agreed. And they went ahead and sent transport over there and my mother refused to go to the hospital. And they called and told me that they could not force her to go because she was quote, too oriented. So at that point, there was nothing more I could do but um, leave her there for the night. I, at that point, I put it in God's hands and I was like, either she's gonna live or she's gonna die. There's nothing more I can do. And I know that probably doesn't sound good, but this is just the reality at this point. And I mean, I just don't know what, what else to do. Um, she got through the night. My home health nurse is amazing um, with Namaste. And we called, we called Dispatch Health to come first thing um, yesterday morning. And we also told Bloom that they needed to get their butts over there as well. And I wanted somebody else beside the provider that I feel has messed this all up. Um, anyways, believe it or not, they both showed up at the same time. So um, dispatch called me and said that they could not stay there if Bloom was there because insurance will not pay for that. So dispatch also said that she didn't look that bad and that she didn't need fluids. So they left, um, the other provider um, decided at this point that she wasn't in kidney failure and that she was going to make some adjustments to her meds and she thought that they would be able to hopefully get it back under control that way. So we went from my mother dying to now my mother being supposedly dehydrated. Anyways, let's fast forward now to this morning when I get a phone call from 
um, my mother, um, telling me that she's sitting in a restaurant looking for her car, waiting to get home. Now, obviously, we know she is very confused, but this is a new one. I've never heard this one before. This is a restaurant that we used to go to when I was a kid. And I know my mother well enough that when she gets this delusional, she has an infection. They dipsticked her urine on Sunday and it came out positive, but they refused to give her an antibiotic claiming that because she's in quote kidney failure, she wouldn't be able to tolerate that orally. So basically I'm kind of screwed every which way. Um, it, she won't go to, she's refusing to go to the hospital. I can't force her to go. I can't get anybody to do anything there. Um, and at the same time, the wound care doctor came this morning and she said she wanted her to have fluids. So we were going to call a company to come and give her fluids, but they refused to do that because she has congestive heart failure. So um, my home health nurse is amazing. Um, she, we talked over different scenarios of what we thought we could do. And she ran over there. She was thankfully in the area and thankfully she convinced my mother to go to the hospital. So she stayed with her until they could call transport. She's on her way over there now. And as soon as I hear she's there, I guess that's where I'm headed back to another hospital. Um, I still feel terrible as you can hear. <clears throat> this is the last place I want to go right now. And I really don't know what's going to happen. Um, it just, it just shouldn't be like this. Um, to all of my caregiver friends out there, people that have people in this situation, my heart goes out to you because I just, I don't even know what to say. So basically I'm just here asking for prayers, hoping that something good can come out of this. I just have a terrible feeling that when she gets to this hospital, it's going to be a whole nother nightmare. And I don't even know where this is going to take us. Um, so anyways, um, that's kind of my updates on that. Um, I was going to share some other stuff today, but as you can see, I mean, I'm exhausted. I haven't slept in almost four nights um, because of this respiratory thing, whatever it is. We tested negative for COVID, all of us. So I guess it's not that, but whatever it is, it's horrible. It's miserable. And I don't know. I'm trying to find some positives in this, but... I just don't even know what they are. We're having a, as you can hear, a thunderstorm right now on top of it. Um, I mean, I, you know, I, I don't know. I mean, you know, I'm trying to work. Um, I can't concentrate. I don't even know what to say. I don't know. But I did, um, you know, manage to get this little cute bib done yesterday. I mean, I'll just throw that in there. Something a little happy. Um, her name is Riley. And it has a little matching cake topper. So if I ever get my life back and get to work again, and if anybody needs stuff like that, let me know. Um, today is also Shavuot, I think it is, on the Jewish calendar. Um, I was going to talk about that, but I wasn't really able to put anything together. <laughs> so anyways, right now, I guess I just need prayers. I mean, I don't even know what to say at this point. I mean, I know that people say God only gives you as much as you can handle, but... I'm tired. I'm really tired. And I really just need something to change. Because I don't know how much more of this I can take. So anyways, I hope you guys have a good weekend. And I'll try to keep y'all updated. And if anybody has any suggestions or any encouragement or prayers, we could use them.